What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So let's talk about modeling and system design techniques for electrical design. So in this video, uh, you will be learning how to create and edit electrical circuits. Okay, so our objectives is we're going to learn how to display the electrical circuits in a project using the system browser. And also, we are going to learn how to identify unassigned elements and create electrical circuits. We are going to edit new and existing electrical circuits and understand the circuit and panel board properties. Some of it, not all, but some of the circuit and panel board properties. Okay, so let's do this. The first thing that I'm going to do is to open the system browser by right-clicking, blank space, and then go to browsers and then selecting here the system browser and there you go so there's my system browser just make sure systems is selected here and electrical okay so right off the bat you can now see here that you have 18 items that is an assigned to a circuit so if you're going to expand that you can see you have here duplex receptacles plain recess lighting fixture and street lights and also uh, sb1 here Okay, so our goal here is we are going to create the circuit for our uh, receptacles, lighting fixtures here. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do to create a circuit, you need to select the uh, fixtures that is not part of the system, which is this. Okay, so let's say I'm going to click this receptacle. By the way, Revit will highlight that in your floor plan. Okay, if you right click that, you can actually show that one. Okay, if your model or your floor plan is too big, don't worry, there is a show option here we're in. Revit will go straight to that particular element if you select it. Okay, just close that one. All right, so that's how you do it. So let's click here and then let's hold the shift. I'm going to click this other receptacle so basically i'm going to create a circuit for my kitchen area here for my receptacles okay so after you select your fixtures look for the create systems you can see their power just click the power to create the circuit you click that and then after that you can assign now the particular panel for that circuit so i want to connect this uh, circuit here to my lp1 here so that's why I'm going to click the drop down arrow here and then assign that to LP-1. So you click that and there you go. And then just select your modify to deselect your circuit. All right. Okay, so let's observe again our system browser. So you will notice that all your duplex receptacle here, the eight duplex receptacles that we have selected is now here on the assigned circuit for the electrical. So if you expand this, expand the power, you just need to click one of the receptacle on our kitchen to highlight it. Okay, you click that. And then as you can see, it's highlight this one. So you expand that, expand, expand that one. Okay, and there you go. So this circuit here is now assigned to LP1 and then Revit automatically assigned that to circuit number two, which is this one, okay? So you cannot change that circuit number, Revit automatically assigns that one. So basically that's how you create a circuit, okay? And then that's, that's how you observe it from your system browser. As you can see, it's now all selected or it's now under the electrical here and assigned to LP1. That's the circuit number, circuit number two. If you click the circuit number two, you click that, you can also check the properties of that. And here's your circuit number two. Okay. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is let's go to our uh, lighting plan. So let's go to the project browser. Let's open up one dash lighting. Okay, let's just zoom out and then just click outside. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's say I want to add these four lighting fixtures to this circuit here because I know that these lighting fixtures here are already part of the system because if I check the system browser, as you can see, as I click it, 
okay it's highlighting in this circuit so meaning this area here these lighting fixtures is assigned to circuit number one see if um, if you're going to expand that you can see here if you click where is that there you go so it's highlighting on our system browser so that's why the system browser is very useful so now what i want is i want to add these four lighting fixtures that is unassigned these four here okay these four lighting fixtures to this circuit here let's see if we can add it okay so how to add so all you have to do is to click one of the lighting fixture that is already part of the system or the circuit and then look for the electrical circuits tab okay and then there is an option here edit circuit okay so just click edit circuit and add to circuit is automatically selected by the way there is also another tool here wherein you can remove a fixture or lighting fixture from the circuit so you just click that one and then just select if you want to remove this but don't do that so i'll just add the circuit so i'm going to select this four or let's say i'll try one so let's click let's add this and right away Revit will tell you that there is a problem so Revit says that the total connected load for circuit number one is exceeding 80% of the defined rating okay of 20 amps so basically we can't add this four lighting fixtures to this circuit here because it's already exceeding the 80% of the defined rating okay so that's why we can't do that just close that one and cancel it okay just cancel right so again this lighting fixture is still under the unassigned so what are we going to do so let's create a new circuit for the unassigned lighting fixtures okay so you know already how to do that it's either you select from here like that or you can select from the floor plan like that okay and then let's uh, create systems click here power and there you go and then I'm just gonna make sure that this is assigned to LP1 okay so make sure this is LP1 okay and after that just select your modify and that's it so if I'm gonna click one of the lighting fixture in this room you can see it's assigned to circuit number five expand that and there you go so it's now assigned to circuit number five so let's say for example what I want to do is this um, 12 lighting fixtures here you want to add to this system here so how to do that so this uh, lighting fixtures that is part of uh, circuit number one you want that to be added to this circuit here which is circuit number five so how to add so to add that I think I have shown you already earlier so just select one of the lighting fixture that uh, where you want to add the, the lighting fixtures here and then look for electrical circuits and then select your edit circuit so you click that one and then add the circuit and just select this lighting fixtures and this is what will happen you will see this warning so you have selected elements that are already part of the circuits so they will be removed from the original circuits which is our circuit number one and added to the new circuit which is circuit number five which is no problem to us because we want to add these 12 lighting fixtures to the circuit of these four lighting fixtures so let's just close that one and then just finish it that's it okay and then if you move the slider down look for circuit number five there you go so there's my circuit number five okay now um the next thing that we will be doing let's check out again our system browser so we still have some uh, street lights here we have five street lights which is these lights here so let's create a circuit for this okay so i'm gonna select this street lights 
and then let's create a power to this click that all right and then you will now see this panel connection warning so it says here it indicates that there are not enough uh, slots on LP1 for this circuit okay so you can't do that so you will be able to create the circuit you will be able to assign this to a certain circuit number but you will not be able to connect that to LP1 okay all right because there is no enough slots for the panel board LP1 so let's cancel this so I'm gonna cancel that one and then as you can see it's now removed here from the unassigned so basically you're able to create circuit for this uh, lighting fixtures our street lights but it's not the the panel board is not assigned for this uh, street light so if I click this let's move oh it's here the unname because it's not yet assigned to our panel board okay so let's try to solve that one so how are we going to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going back to my uh, one dash power floor plan and then i'm going to select here the panel board so i'm going to select that and then check the properties here i'm going to move the slider down here and then from the electrical circuit uh, circuiting parameter so we have this maximum number of single pole breakers for the panel so this is a built-in parameter which is I'm going to modify so instead of 6 I'm gonna make it 12 okay I'm gonna adjust that one and then I'm going to select apply right and then let's go back again to our one dash lighting and let's select again these lighting fixtures and then electrical circuits and let's us now try adding again that to LP-1 panel board so let's click that and there you go so we are now able to place this uh, street lights to our lighting panel by modifying the maximum number of single pole breakers of that LP-1 panel board as you can see here Revit already created and assign that to circuit number seven which is number seven there you go so it's now here so you can see it's highlighted right okay so this is now my circuit number seven okay and then after that you can also check what is the property of this circuit for example so let's check the properties you can see here the property of that circuit number seven so these are the properties and one thing that you will notice here you can actually change the rating here so instead of 20 amps so let's say you want to change that to um, 30 amps so let's check the other circuit so like for example uh, circuit number 5 and then let's check the properties it's also 20 amps how about uh, circuit number 4 it's also 20 amps circuit number 3 it's also 20 amps why because let me cancel this selection if you go to the systems and then electrical panel you can open up here the electrical settings or you can type ES to open up that one okay so from the electrical settings you can see here from the general option you can see the circuit rating here so it is set to 20 amps so that's why every time you create a circuit the circuit rating will be 20 amps so you can change from here but let's say you change this to 30 amps all the created uh, circuit that you already have it will not be updated so this will only apply to the new circuits that you will be creating okay so hope that one is clear so if you, you want to change the circuit of this one let's say for example of our circuit number uh, seven so you need to go to properties and then change from here so like for example 30 amps that's it just apply and there you go okay that's it and as a final review so let's check again our system browser all right so our system browser here shows there are no unassigned receptacles or lighting fixtures in the project.
Okay, so that's it for our exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.